Right, we are back at the top of the hour. Most people are still logged in and hopefully um, others will be continuing to rejoin us. Hope you all had a great break. Um, we are now going to get into the nitty gritty of the FathomNet GitHub. So first we'll hear from Kevin Barnard. He's a software engineer at Embari and FathomNet database administrator. Kevin's background is in software development, robot perception and cognition and machine learning. And he first got involved with FathomNet as an undergraduate intern at Embari in 2018. So today Kevin is going to tell us about the Python API on the FathomNet GitHub. So we'll turn it over to you, Kevin. Awesome, thanks so much, Katie. Let me start my screen share here. Okay, great. So I promise not too many slides here. I just quickly in the next 15 minutes want to go through three things. So I wanna give you an overview first of the FathomNet GitHub page, what's on there. Uh, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about this Python API, which we've referenced a couple of times before. And then finally, which I wanna spend the most of my time on is I wanna demonstrate a little bit of that uh, collab notebook that we talked about, which is just gonna show a couple of visualizations and some powerful things that you can do with the Python API in very few lines of code. And as promised, it is all point and click. So uh, if you're not familiar with the code or Python at all, uh, don't worry, you can still fire it up just in your web browser and uh, click along through. All right. So first of all though, uh, the FathomNet GitHub page is here at the link at the top, github.com slash FathomNet. If you're not familiar with GitHub, the basic idea is it's a space for us to uh, host uh, you know, repositories containing code or discussions, uh, registries, auxiliary data like our logos, uh, so on and so forth. And there's three repositories here that I want to specifically call out right now. The first one is this community feedback uh, repository. Uh, this is a general forum to leave feedback and ideas. We also are tracking some of our development tasks in this one. Uh, Kakani will dig into this a little bit more later. So the next one is the Python API, FathomNet-Pi, and that's what I'm going to be talking about. And the third one is models, or the FathomNet model zoo, and Eric is going to cover this um, up next. So let's take a look at this Python API. So you know, a lot of da data scientists, a lot of um, folks use Python. It's a very powerful programming language for doing um, you know, data science tasks, um, manipulating data, so on and so forth. So we figured we put together this API to help uh, interact with FathomNet in your Python programs. So this is broken down in just a couple components. The first one is there's this Python wrapper for calls to the FathomNet REST API, which Brian presented. So you can just in Python make calls like uh, you know bounding boxes that find concepts, and that'll give you a list of all of the concepts that are currently present, uh, or you know they have a localization in FathomNet, or things like if you want to pull down an image, you can. Uh, do that, right? You can find all the images by a concept, you know, uh, crawl the taxonomic trees, and do all sorts of operations like that straight in Python. The next one is that there are these native uh, data classes that we've created for all the, of the FathomNet entities. So this allows you to do things like uh, load in JSON uh, that you've downloaded from the FathomNet website straight into your Python programs and vice versa, things like that. One third component here that which I want to call out is we do have a script that we've been working on, which helps you to generate data sets in different formats for object detection data sets. So uh, these are in uh, currently, these, this script supports uh, Coco, JSON, and uh, VOC XML. And finally, this is really easy to install. It's on the Python package index. Uh, so you can just do a pip install FathomNet and uh, you're off to the races. The full documentation I wanna call out here uh, is available, the link at the bottom right, which is fathomnet-pi.readthedocs.io. Okay, that's been um, just the overview of the FathomNet GitHub. And now I wanna give you a little bit of a demonstration of some of the things that you can do with this Python API in this Jupyter Notebook. Uh, this is going to be running in Google Colab, which is all in your web browser. You don't need to set up anything on your computer. So I encourage you, if you're interested to follow along, we're going to be using this notebook as well for the programmers breakout tomorrow. And if you lose track of where you are, just look for this badge, open in Colab. If you press that, that'll uh, bring you to the notebook. Okay, so I have in another tab here, the FathomNet GitHub page. On this, you'll see some of those repositories I was talking about. 
we're going to go to the FathomNet Pi one. Okay. And then in here, scroll down and you'll see this button here open in Colab. If you click that, that will go ahead and open up uh, the notebook instance for you. And you'll see there's a whole lot in here. I encourage you uh, in your spare time to read through this. Um, so I'm going to go through this a little bit quickly, but I encourage you to, to look back at this, read through, and try uh, playing around with some of the things in here. All right. But quickly, I'm going to show you a little bit of how you can install the API and use it to generate some basic data visual visualizations. So as I said, you can just run a pip install FathomNet. So I've done gone ahead and done this in this cell. So pip install FathomNet. That will install FathomNet to your system. I'm going to import some things uh, that we need for this code, mostly just for the visualizations. And finally, let's talk about the API, right? So now that we have it installed, uh, as I said, there's two main components. There's the modules, which allow you to do these calls to the API, and the data models. These modules are broken down into bounding boxes, things like images, image set uploads, marine regions, so on and so forth. So every API call that we make is just a single function within a certain module. So we can say, let's say we want to find a particular image by its unique ID. We can bring in the images module and then give the UUID to this function. So if we run that cell, this has gone ahead and contacted the FathomNet uh, API and pulled that image down. So we have now our example image. We can check out what that type is, and it is this FathomNet model of an image. So this is a native Python object that we can now uh, work with in our Python programs. So we don't have to necessarily deal with uh, the big blobs of JSON. We can go ahead and check out some of the fields that are available uh, in this object. So we can check out the URL, the latitude and the longitude, and the bounding boxes that are contained. I should mention, we haven't actually pulled down the image itself. Again, this is a description of the image, its bounding boxes, and the URL. We can also check out what the example image JSON is by doing this to JSON. And you'll see here, this looks exactly like uh, the JSON that you download when you go through the website. So as I said before, you can turn this back and forth between uh, this JSON format pretty easily. So next, I'll show a couple of visualizations that you can do. Um, let's say we want to make a bar chart of the top you know, 10 concepts, let's say, in FathomNet um, by the number of bounding boxes that they have associated with them. Well, we can pull in the bounding boxes module, count how many bounding boxes each concept has, and then throw that in a bar chart. So if I run this cell, I'll we'll go ahead and contact FathomNet. It'll get all of that information and then put that together in this bar chart. So we can check out, we can see, okay, we have 15,000 localizations of fragile urchins um, and so on and so forth for some of this stuff. All right, uh, next, let's say we want to get all of the images that are for a particular concept. Well, we can use the bounding boxes module and the images modules together. So we can get a list of all of the concepts that are localized in FathomNet using this function. All right, and we can see, okay, there are 2,242 localized concepts in FathomNet. We'll select one. And then what we can do is ask FathomNet for all of the images of that concept. Great. So this is now telling us that we have 529 images of a genus Citria. Let's pick a random image and then go to its URL and download that image. Might take a second. There we go. Okay. So we can see here that we've actually fetched that image from its URL and now we're showing that right in the notebook. We can also go through the bounding boxes in that image and then render them on top, let's say. Okay, awesome. So what we've done is now looked at that image, its bounding box, and based on the coordinates, just drawn this box and attached the label to it. 
Now let's check out some of the uh, ancillary data that's also in, uh, included with these image records that we've we've fetched. So we can also get things like the depth. Uh, so maybe we want to see a histogram of the different depths that we have images of Aegina at. Well, we can pull from each image its depth and then put that into a histogram. So I'll run that cell. And there we go. Now we can see that Aegina Citria, we have most at this 1,200 to 1,300 meter range. You can also get the latitude and the longitude from images where they are available. And in this uh, cell, we're just going to plot those as a heat map of all of the images of Aegina Citria over this Esri Ocean base, base map. So we can get an idea of uh, where these images are coming from. OK, so that was just a very brief overview of some of the uh, visualization capabilities and interaction uh, faculties that we have available in the FathomNet Python notebook, uh, or API, sorry. But in the rest of this notebook, we have a lot more content. Again, we're going to get into that tomorrow in the programmer's breakout. But again, if you are curious to check this out, this uh, notebook is publicly available on the FathomNet Pi repository. Um, so that's all I got. I'll turn it back to you, Katie. Very good, Kevin. Um, yeah, we do have a couple minutes for questions. And um, there is one which uh, Eric answered, but I think it's worth highlighting. Um, you, you're giving this example in Python, which is great. Is it also compatible with other coding software, such as RStudio? Sure. So the particular library that I just showed is for Python exclusively. Um, however, what this Python library is doing is it's just communicating with the rest uh, web API. So if you wanted to do something like this in R, you could put together something similar um, that then talks uh, over you know, HTTP to uh, the, the REST API. Great. 